Uh, much will be decided at this debate, the tone and the tenor, and whether Donald Trump will be successful in attaching a lot of these WikiLeak revelations to uh, arguments he's made against Hillary Clinton in the past, that she lies, that she can't be trusted, that she says one thing uh, in, in front of uh, rowdy groups, quite another behind closed doors, uh, and that her own folks are working in place with the President Obama administration to say nothing of uh, back and forth with the State Department and the FBI. Well, you know the drill. And so does this fellow Eric Beach, Great America, a, a PAC founder, co-chairman, uh, supporting Donald Trump here. Um, you know, it's almost a perfect stream of events that has to go your candidate's way, uh, Eric. And again, I know when we look at these polls and we show 20 percent undecided in Arizona, that seems like a very high number of undecided voters. We see numbers, though, not quite as high in a variety of states. Uh, and I know the traditional view is a lot of those undecided voters are Trump voters. They're just not saying it. Is that what you believe? Yeah, and I also believe that there's a low propensity voter. The one thing Donald Trump has brought to the equation, he's bringing new voters into this process. So I think you're going to have voters that haven't voted in the last four elections, that maybe voted one time in the last four elections or even none. So you're going to have a higher turnout for Donald Trump than you will Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is not a candidate of energy and enthusiasm. Donald Trump is. And so I think you're going to see that break late his way during uh, come November 8th. What if he branches out into these personal attacks that a lot of experts say he shouldn't do? I talked to Steve Wynn uh, yesterday, the big casino mogul, who said much the same. I hope it doesn't denigrate it, something like that. Uh, what do you make of that and what he's got to do tonight to keep the focus on, I uh, presume, these issues that mean a lot to you? I think he's with the American people on the major issues, and I have yet to see what her plans are on illegal immigration. Uh, you know, I know what the WikiLeaks say that the, her plans are, you know, that's open borders. I'm, I'm yet to see her jobs plan. We know her tax plan, and I think that's a big contrast between herself and Donald Trump. And then, you know, just creating wealth for the country and, of course, national de you know, defense and security. So I'd like to see him contrast his five main issues against hers, because I think he's with the American people on those issues. Now, I'm not aware exactly the kind of ads that your group is putting out, but we don't see a great many Donald Trump ads. We see a lot of Hillary Clinton ads. I'm talking nationally, and that's where her edge with money has come in handy here and might account for a lead in a lot of polls in a lot of these swing states. Are you worried that as appealing as your candidate's message is, it's not getting out there because he doesn't have nearly as much money? Well, yeah, he doesn't have enough money, but he's been efficient with his money. I mean, I can tell you from our standpoint, you know, we put out an ad with Mayor Rudy Giuliani and Dorothy Woods, the widow of Ty Woods of Benghazi. I mean, there's no greater contrast between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton on national security and creating jobs. And so we've been focused on that. I know the campaign has been focused on that as well. And this is going to come down to a few swing states. We're in one of them, being in Nevada. I think if he can turn out the vote. But even in Nevada, voters, even in Nevada, you mentioned, no, I understand, you mentioned Nevada, but he's down. You know, about seven points here. Now, that's just one poll. That could be an outlier. Sure. But this right. seems to be a recent trend. And again, it could be short live with about less than three weeks to go. But in, in Nevada, Texas suddenly painted pink instead of red. Georgia, pink instead of red. Uh, yeah. in North Carolina, down across the, the board, down. Uh, now, now mid single digits in Florida. And on and on we go. That wasn't supposed to happen. Arizona, a safe Republican state, now in, in Hillary Clinton's uh, uh, grip. I, what is going on? Look, I think there's two things. He's definitely had a bad couple of weeks, and he, I think he's rebounded nicely. This debate's going to give him a chance to reshape his message and come out of it and really start focusing on those major issues I cited earlier between now and November 8th. But also, you're going to turn out these new voters. I mean, again, I go back to that because that's what his campaign's all about. And in the primary, for the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders was doing that in the primary side, and, and Hillary was not the candidate of energy and enthusiasm. So you're going to see some new voters right. that have never been part of this process come to the Polls. Eric, thank you very much for taking the time. You know, you've got a frantic schedule, Eric Beach.